Hello, and welcome back to the stream. This is Christopher Wax, Steve, and I and Eddie on the microphone yet again, and I'd like to welcome you back to the main event. That's correct. It is the Samsung 2003 World Cyber Games Grand Finals, and this is StarCraft Brood War. Folks, we got a match coming up for you. It's going to be on Martian Cross. Now, this is an interesting map chosen by WCG here for the Grand Finals. There's a lot of important things to note about this map, mainly that it is so flat, and there's a lot of choke points. Now, what does that mean? That means that certain races are going to have a little bit of a difficult time, especially depending on the starting locations. Uh, I personally think this is a very good map for Protoss, and guess what? Both players are Protoss. So, race is probably not going to come into uh, too much consideration here uh, for these guys. They're really just going to play their best and uh, keep things rather offensive as possible. Uh, and just try and control the map as soon and as fast as possible. Uh, all right, so let's take a look here at the players. For Italy, we have Andrea Sterparo, uh, also known as Caffone. He also plays Warcraft 3. I've casted a couple of his games in the past, and uh, I know he's a pretty good player. He's won a couple uh, minor tournaments uh, here and there in Warcraft 3, so uh, I'm expecting him to be pretty good here in Brood War. Uh, also taking a look here at Portugal, for Team Portugal we have Nuno Veloso, uh, he plays as TC Carls, TC Carls. Uh, again both players are Protoss, the map is going to be Martian Cross, and this is Christopher Wax Steven Ionetti with the Team Sportscast Network, www.tsncentral.com is the website and uh, let's go a little bit through the player profiles here. Uh, taking a look at uh, Andrea Sterparo, a.k.a. Caffone, from Italy. Uh, he, he's fairly old. He's around my age. And I'm feeling rather old being here at the WCG, especially after seeing some 11-year-old kids. That's correct. I said 11-year-old kids. They have an 11-year-old boy from Japan playing in the Unreal 2K3 Unreal Tournament 2K3 he is here on behalf of Japan folks now that to me is a bit young to be playing video games at this kind of level that just shows that anybody from like any age onward can play video games and it's just it's so open to just about everybody that it really needs to start being accepted much more uh, in the world community. So, uh, like I said, the players today are going to be Caffone, Andrea Sterparo for, for Team Italy, and uh, Nuno Veloso for Team Portugal, TC Carls. And uh, the map's going to be Martian Cross. Both players are Protoss. Both players are Protoss. And uh, I believe the match is going to start in a second here. In just a couple seconds, the game is going to start up. And we're going to have a very good Brood Warrior match. You know, every single match that I've seen thus far at WCG has just been amazing. It's the level of competition is just top notch. You do not see this kind of competition anywhere else in the world. It's all about this event. And all the people that are here representing their respective countries know that and they are putting their heart and soul into playing their best possible games. You know, that being said, I think it's important that we look at the map here. WCG Martian Cross, like I mentioned before, I said it's a very flat map. We have starting locations in the corner. It is a lengthwise map, meaning that it is more a vertical map than a horizontal map. It's not square. And uh, there's not a lot of minerals 
for the resource gathering units. And I think that's important to realize uh, that that makes things very beneficial to the people that can pull off a successful rush because minerals are going to be very, very hard to come by on this map. Uh, especially, this is going to be especially important uh, depending on the starting locations for both players. And uh, I believe we're going to get things started in a second here. Uh, so far, it looks like uh, Cafone has won two matches. Uh, TC Carl having a bit of trouble thus far. You know, we'll see. Anyway, things about to start up here. Again, the players are Cafone from Italy and TC Carls. So, uh, Cafone's going to be in the blue, Carl's going to be in the pink. And uh, we do have some pretty far starting locations. Like I mentioned before, the... the uh, the uh, starting location is going to play a key factor, and since that this game is, uh, since this map is, you know, longer than it is, you know, in uh, in, uh, in in length than it is in, in in the horizontal, you know, they they have started in their starting locations. They started uh, in the in the bottom and the top, so very far away from each other. All right, so anyway, Cafone chewing on some gum, looks very calm. We're pretty late into the round robin as uh, Cafone sends off a scout right now. He's just sent off a probe looking for his opponent. TC Carl's doing the same thing. Both players trying to find each other as fast as possible to uh, get their rush on. Trying to get a successful rush on this map, I think, is going to be very key and very essential. But with the starting locations, we'll see how that happens. Uh, it's called Martian Cross for a reason. The way that the islands, and they're not really islands, they're just kind of... Well, I guess they are islands, but <laughs> they're surrounded by certain areas where you can only pass over the region, uh, you know, by certain walkways or bridges. Um, and it ends up being into the shape of a cross. And it's on a Martian tile set. Anyway, both probes running into each other right now. And uh, both players saying hello to each other. It's looking like we've got the first gateway summoned by Cafone. Cybernetics core going up as well. We're going to see some Zealots and Dragoons. Most likely for both players in this matchup. Fairly identical on their times uh, for creating buildings. Summoning those buildings from uh, Ire. I believe that is where the Protoss summon their buildings from. Pylons being thrown up as well inside the base of Carl's right now. And Cafone saying that he is very sleepy here. <laughs> I share I share the feelings, my friend. I happen to have a roommate that has been very loud in the snoring department. He has been snoring basically as soon as he falls asleep until we wake up in the morning. So it's a bit difficult trying to sleep. Woke up at 3.45 in the morning today. Hopefully that doesn't happen again tomorrow. Second gateway being summoned right now by Carl's. Both players still trying to find each other. First Zealot out now, uh, I believe, for uh, Cafone. And uh, not a lot of harassment being done as of yet, as the starting locations, as I said before, very far apart uh, on this map. Dragoon out right now for, uh, for Cafone. He's in the blue, Carl's in the pink. And uh, Cafone and Carl's running into each other. Carl's with his zealot. Cafone with his dragoon, trying to hurt that zealot, 
best as he can, taking down the shields right now. As uh, Carl's just trying to scout out his opponent, going to possibly try and kill off a probe or two. And he will run into a probe right now. Not going to kill it off, just scouting, seeing what's going on. Going after a probe right now. We've got two Dragoons from Cafo trying to finish off Carl's. Carl has, has taken out one of the uh, probes. Two probes now as the Zealot is about to die. There it goes. Carl's has done his damage there already. Carl's trying to summon up a robotics facility as fast as possible. The economy has been already damaged here for Cafon. And we've got some Dragoons on the move, making their way over to Carl's base. Looks like Cafon is taking the offensive as fast as possible. He runs into a probe of Carl's. Carl's keeping an eye out for any possible rushes. Let's see what he does to counter them. Three Dragoons inside Carl's base. We've got ourselves two gateways and another pylon being summoned up. Let's see if we get some photon cannons to help him uh, out on those odds. Like I said before, this map has some odd choke points and uh, is very flat, so I tend to think that the Protoss Rush is very powerful, and we'll see how how uh, Caffone can handle it. Caffone killing off one of the critters right there on the map, one of the scorpions. Taking a personal offense to his presence, apparently. And uh, Caffone's still trying to crank out some units right now. He's got himself five Dragoons uh, in an offensive location. So now he's sending over, a, he's bringing over a probe. Just trying to guard his choke point right now. And uh, I'm curious to see, Carl's looks fairly serious. He's guarding his choke point as well. And no upgrades yet for either, for either side's units. It looks like the probes are scouting around a little bit here for both players, uh, running into each other's dragoons, and Cafone looking for any possible expansions for his opponent, TC Carls. Again, Cafone being from Team Italy, and Carls being from Portugal. we got our first shuttle now coming out for Carls. Looks like we're going to get some drops going from him. Robotic support going up. And let's see, uh, Cafone's still scouting around with a probe right now. He's just guarding against any possible fast expos. He's seen the Dragoons trying to lure them out. An observer coming out right now for Carl's. It's looking like that observer right now just trying to keep an eye on Cafone moving down towards the bottom of the map where Cafone's starting location has been placed and his main base is. Carl's looks like he's going to be building an expo. Cafone a little bit behind in his building, but this is basically a mirror match from what I can tell. And uh, Cafone's a little bit behind in it. Pylon's going up as well inside the base of Carl's. Very interesting base building there. Dragoon's going after some observers right now, killing it off. Cafone keeping an eye out for uh, any, any enemy observers, and he has found one. Killed it off. We've got ourselves several Dragoons right now. For Cafone. Carl's trying to get up a third gateway right now. Shuttle on the move. Let's see what he does with that. Dropping a Reaver right now. We are going to see some Reaver drops coming from uh, coming from uh, Carl's and Cafone. Positioning himself just outside his close minerals deposits. As he tries to possibly get an expansion going. He's going with a reaver drop himself. We are going to see a mirror match here. Basically mirrored strategies. And we'll see who has the best drop micro. We'll probably win the game. Cafone a little bit behind on his economy. Thanks to an early push by Carl's. Both players looking very serious. They both want to win this match. Reaver being picked up here by Carl's. Carl's now starting to build his expansion. Building some pylons. Dragoon's on the move. Making his way to the lower portion of the map. Taking a look here at Cafone. Uh, I think he's going to be starting to get his expansion going. I think it's very close to being created. Yep, he is starting to make that. 
Dragoons guarding that expansion. For Cafon, let's see if he's able to bring over more Dragoons because he's vastly outnumbered. Reaver drop. Two Reavers being dropped. Going after the Dragoons. One Dragoon down. Second Dragoon coming. There it goes. Cafon trying to retreat a little bit. He's got bad positioning here. He's dropping his own Reavers. Only one to deal with, though. And here we go. The big battle is being dealed out. The Reavers for, uh, for TC Carls are uh, doing an excellent job of killing the Dragoons of Cafon off. Cafon is just getting his expansion created. The Nexus is up, and the Dragoons are dying all over the place now for Carls. Cafon now bringing in some reinforcements. The Dragoons are owning the other Dragoons of Carls. Cafon trying to finish off the Reavers, and he does. Looks like Carls falling back to his uh, main base. Cafon trying to drop his Reaver on the other side of the embankment and get a couple extra hits off on the Dragoon. Does get another hit, and the Dragoon of Carls is making his way back to his base with his tail between his legs. Ouch, that had to sing. Cafon really damaging Carls up there. Carls uh, really took a severe beating in that last battle. And now Cafon sending over some more probes to try and gather more minerals from the nearby mineral deposit where he sent up his expansion as he sends over an observer and a shuttle. Shuttle running into the Dragoons. Oh, failed drop. The shuttle ran into the Dragoons of Carl's and was not able to do a reaver drop. Cafon falling back a little bit to the nearby bridge as he tries to gather his resources and his units back up to try and get another drop going. looking right now like he's just trying to get his expansion stable, building another gateway here as he's using Dragoons as the mainstay of his army, bringing in Reavers just for support, and getting in some direct hits there from the back. Uh, so far, it looks like Cafone is winning here. Getting the Nexus is Carl's. Carl's getting his expansion up. Cafon just positioning himself outside the expansion of Carl's. Carl's with a pylon, or er, with a, uh, a, uh, photon cannon just outside his, the back of his, his, uh, expansion base. Cafon falling back a little bit as he sees a shuttle and several Dragoons. Does not want the shuttle to drop Reavers in the back of his Dragoon line and seriously damage his attacking force. Observer for Cafon on the expansion base of Carl's. Carl's trying to get up an assimilator on the Vespian Geyser. Not a lot of gateways here for Carl's. He's starting to build himself a citadel of a dune. Uh, probably going to get some some uh, new units come from him. I don't think I saw a Templar building. I guess we're just going to have both players stick with the the main army of dragoons and reavers and trying to see who will win based on micro alone and macro. So anyway, Carl's and Dragoon and, and Cafone having a big fight out now. There it goes. Dragoon's falling all over the place for Cafone. Cafone finally dropping his Reavers. He is losing this battle and he's losing it bad. Carl's using some pretty good micro here, grabbing his Reavers as best as possible. One Reaver goes down and Cafone is trying to keep his Reaver alive. It starts to go into the red and Cafone owning up Carl now. Carl's is taking some big hits. Cafone going after the shuttle. Good maneuver there. Kills off the Reaver. And Cafone wins another battle with which he's starting to fail in the beginning, but wins it in the end. Cafone bringing over some zealots right now as he's, he's uh, trying to give up, I guess, on these Dragoons. Even though he's starting to win with them. Now it's looking like another gateway coming for TC Carl's. Uh-oh, expansion coming under attack right now by Cafone. Looks like Carl's coming in to try and uh, reinforce his lines here. Reaver dealing out some pain to the Dragoons of Carl's. Carl's grabbing his probes away from the expansion, and he's stuck at the choke point. The Zealots of Cafone out front going after the, the Dragoons of Carl's. Carl's trying to do a little bit of attack and retreat. Going after the Reaver right now of Cafone. Cafone saves it with two HP left. 
and keeps things alive. We've got several Dragoons and the Reaver now inside the expansion base of Carl's. Carl's is in a lot of trouble right now. He does have a Reaver inside of his main base. He's still in this game. Both players low on units. And it looks like, looks like Capone just now starting to reinforce his lines. He's got himself some zealots going after the Dragoons of Carl's right now. And now Capone starting to take his, his vantage point away from Carl's main base and starts to go after the expansion, which he knows if he gets, Carl's is going to have a tough time competing with the unit count of Cafone. Cafone sending in more zealots to go after the Dragoons of Carl's. Carl's getting out three more uh, Dragoons here from his gateways right now, and the zealots falling very quickly. Cafone sending over more reinforcements here, more zealots as they go after the Dragoons of Carl's. Carl's not really microwing his Dragoons right now. Just trying to attack as best as he can and get out of as many units to save his expansion. Reaver's fallen. Dragoon's falling. And Reaver's still alive. There it goes. Finally down. And now it's looking like Carl is going to lose this match. Expansion under some serious attack right now by Cafone. Trying to kill off the resource gathering probes of Carl's. Carl's now getting his Nexus severely attacked and bringing in some more reinforcements from his gateways. He's got three gateways, so therefore we're seeing three Dragoons right now. Zealots going after those Dragoons, and here come the probes for Carl's. Carl's going to use those offensively, possibly, to try and get some more units out of himself. And Carl's is saying, good game. This is going to be over. Cafone will take the win over TC Carl's. Nicely done. Nicely done by Cafone. He takes the win for Team Italy. Gets himself a second win now. He's 2-2 two and two in his group. Possibly can move on if he keeps winning. And uh, I think Carl's is officially out now. He will not be moving on to the single elimination. And I know that's got to be tough for him to deal with. We do have a very good assortment of players here at, at uh, the Samsung World Cyber Games 2003 Grand Finals. But losing is something nobody wants to do. Even with the good players here, it's tough to lose. It is tough. Giving up $20,000 is something that is very hard to do. Personally know that because I had a friend participating in FIFA for the uh, American team. Who man, a fellow member of the Team Sportscast Network, he was uh, just beaten in his first FIFA match. So I believe he's just going to try and do better from now on, but I know that losing is going to be rough. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. This is going to be the la my last cast of the day, uh, Brood War, and tomorrow, tomorrow I believe we have a uh, single elimination starting up. So after the matches today, we've got the people being decided, and those people are going to move on to the playoffs of the 2003 World Cyber Games. This is Wax Steven signing off. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Again, www.tsncentral.com is the website.